What's going on, everybody? I am Dad Bod. Tonight we are talking about that chapter icon right up there, how to define which one you want for your map. And if you want to do something a little bit different, how to implement custom ones, let's get it going. Get in, loser. We're going to the internet. All right, so in a horn, we want to swing into the metadata of your map. And on the very top in meta, we see title banner icon. This is essentially what we're going to use to call, you know, whatever, whatever we want. So it always starts with areas slash, and you know, we can do, let's switch it to, instead of areas old site, let's switch it to uh, temple. Switch it to temple, update, save. And after we reloaded, simple as that, the chapter icon has changed. It's pretty cool. All right, another thing that we can do that's kind of fun to, to mess around a little bit with this is back in our metadata, so the title base color, the title text color, the title accent color, we can change all of these to kind of suit whatever style we want. So I changed the title base color to uh, 000, 000, which is black. The title text color is white, and this is what we come up with. So obviously we can see a little bit of a different kind of look to what this is, and you can change those to whatever color you want. The, uh, we can change the accent to, let's switch this up real quick. And now we can see the accent color on the very end of that flag has changed as well. So just a, a neat little thing to help customize your map a little bit more. All right, so all that is really cool, but you know, what if the vanilla icons just don't really appeal to you or they don't really fit the vibe of your map? Uh, well, we're about to show you how to make your own and you can do that actually pretty easily. So let's check it out. All right, so to get an idea of what we want to do and how we want to do it, I figured we just take a look at the graphics dump because this just kind of gives us a really good idea of what needs to be done. Now you can see that there is a front and back for all of the icons, you can make them yourself if you like. It's really easy. You would just have the name of your first icon. And if you want the back side of it, you could do the name underscore back. And when it does the flipping animation, it will work just like that. If you just have one icon, it's just going to show a mirror image of it as it's rotating. So we can recolor these if we want to. It's pretty easy. Uh, we can make our own all of these if you look share, you know, they're pretty similar in size So 144 by 173 a lot of these I was seeing were 180 by 180 So and I've seen some fluctuation in there. So it's really kind of, you know You can experiment a little bit if you want to stay safe 180 by 180 is where you want to go So let's just um, let's load up our photo editor and see what we come up with all right, so we are back in MS Paint. And as you can see, we're getting into the holiday spirit with I am Santa Bod. And so what I've done is I've scaled this down to 180 by 180, and we are going to save this. Make sure it's a transparency, because if you don't make this white part transparent, it's just going to be a white square. So I probably should have done this in a different photo editor other than Microsoft Paint. We'll be right back. All right, so we have our icon here. Just for the sake of doing this, I have uh, created a transparency, so it's just see-through on the background. And we're gonna save this .png. I guess uh, SantaBot probably won't do, but for right now, we're gonna keep it this way. All right, now a couple new things have to happen here. So in our graphics folder, we will go back into atlases and we need to create a new folder called GUI with a capital G. From here, we need to create a new folder called areas, all lowercase areas. And then in here we have sanctuary, capital S, I am dad bod. And then this is where we're gonna drop our picture, which is gonna be Santa bod, although I'm gonna call it Sanctuary. 
boom, done and done. And then in Ahorn, we have to get back to, let's move this out of the way after Ahorn comes in. So now, oops, that's not what I wanna do. So now we can go into our metadata and change this up. So areas slash sanctuary slash I am dad bod slash sanctuary. We're gonna update that. Save it. Let's load Celeste and see what we got. All right, so now that we're loaded up, let's hop in and see how it looks. Yo, that's pretty darn cool. Now, as you can see, I don't have a backside to this. It's just the, the single PNG, but it just kind of mirrors it as it flips. If you want to have a backside to it, uh, to add a little bit more depth to the icon, you just create one with the same name, underscore back, Make sure 180 by 180, it's kind of the safe spot. And yeah, that looks really awesome. I'm really happy with the way that this looks. It gets me in the holiday spirit. So I hope this was very informative. That is all we have. I'm going to try to bust out a bunch more of these as we go because the mapping scene is popping. We've got a lot of good things coming up here in the near future. So I hope you'll stick with us. Till next time, have a great night.